Okay, so you want multiple hyperlinks within a single cell. The bad news is, is that Excel doesn't really support this, but there is quite an easy workaround. So in my scenario, I want to create two hyperlinks within this cell, one to the page on the Microsoft website that tells me about the let function, and the other, a page on the Microsoft website that tells me about the Lambda function. Now, just for convenience sake, I've got the URLs for those web pages in my spreadsheet. We'll delete those later. So the first thing I want to do is to format the words that are going to act as the hyperlinks so that they actually look like hyperlinks. So I'm going to double click in this cell and then I'm going to select the word let. I'm going to use control one on my keyboard to open up the format sales dialog box. Now I'm going to apply a single underline to the word and also format the font with this blue color. Click on OK. And then I'm going to do exactly the same to this word. So select the word control one, underline, and change the color to blue. Click on OK. I can then click outside of the cell. That's all the formatting done. Now to create the hyperlink, the first thing you want to do is to get the URL on your clipboard. So that's easy for me because I've got it in this cell. So I'm going to select that cell, go up to the formula bar, control A, that will select the whole URL, control C to copy, then I'll press enter. Now what I'm going to have to do is place a shape over this word let and apply a hyperlink to that shape. So I'm going to go to the insert tab on my ribbon. I'm going to go to illustration shape and I'm going to use this rectangle shape. I'm going to draw a rectangle over the word let. And then with that shape still selected, control K on my keyboard, that opens up the insert hyperlink dialog box. In the address box, paste in your URL. Click on OK. Now I need to make this shape invisible. So if the shape is still selected, you should have the shape format tab on your ribbon. You can change the shape fill to no fill and your shape outline to no outline. If I click outside the shape now, you can see that shape is now invisible. And if I place my mouse pointer over this word let, you can see now that it is acting as if it were a hyperlink. I've got that little hand as a mouse pointer. And if I click on it, it'll open up that web page. Okay, let's go through the same steps for this link. So your first step is to get that URL on your clipboard. Then you need to go to the insert tab on your ribbon, illustrations, shapes, select your rectangle, draw the rectangle over the word you want to act as a hyperlink, control K on your keyboard, paste in your URL into the address box, click on OK, change the shape fill to no fill, shape outline to no outline. That will also act as a hyperlink. Now, do the shapes move with the cell? Well, let's see. If I insert a row above this cell, you can see that the hyperlinks are still there in place. So if I insert a column, do they stay in that cell? Yes, they do. You can see that basically the shapes move with the cell. The only problem you might have is if someone were to change the height of the cell, Unfortunately, the shapes retain their original position. So they're no longer positioned over these words. So that could cause a bit of a problem for you, but otherwise they work pretty well. To tidy up, we'll delete these URLs down here and we're done. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.